Namaste students. Today I am going to discuss about the topic animal cell culture, scallop process. So what is the scallop process? Uh, scallop is a method by which we increase the size, we increase the number of the cells in another uh, culture methods. Okay. Uh, so scallop is simply is a method which is involved the development of culture system from small scale to large scales. At the starting phase, we go to animal cell culture in the laboratory conditions. Okay, in the laboratory conditions. So it is not possible to uh, increase the number of the cells in the laboratory conditions. They need some more uh, processes for, so that they can be increased in their number in large quantities. So for the large quantities, we need some industrial apparatus and these industrial apparatus can be used for the uh, qu increase in the quantity of the cells. Okay, so more the quantity will be uh, isolated, more the products will be gained from the cells. So this is the scalar process. This is the definition of the process in which we go to the series of the uh, developmental process by which we uh, increase the number of the cells by going to the uh, large scale industries okay in the methodology what happens the increase is conducted for the proliferation means a cell division is conducted in these industrial level uh, instruments okay so the um, scale up is conducted in two uh, ways the first one is scale up in the suspension and the second one is scale up in the monolayer. So what are the differences and what are the uh, scale up process in the suspension and the monolayer. So as we have already discussed that what is the suspension. Suspension is a uh, method. Suspension is a uh, type of culture in which we go for the liquid uh, culture media. We use the liquid culture media and we increase the number of the size in cells in the volume. Okay. Here the increase in the size is in the volume means they are liquid in nature. The media which we are providing is liquid in nature. So the increase in the size, increase in the number is in volume. Okay, the small scale generally means the culture capacity that less than two liters and uh, approximately it may be raised up to five liters maximum. Okay, only for the selected type of uh, cultures, but less than two liters approximately. Okay, that is the scale up in suspension and what are the types of these scale up in the suspension the first one is scale up in the start suspension culture okay what, what is the style style means uh, in the culture method we need some fermenters or we need some bioreactors, large bioreactors, small bioreactors, maybe any size. But in these bioreactors, we need to maintain the cell strain in the moving position. Okay. We need to uh, maintain the cell strains in the moving uh, conditions. So for the movement, we agitate the uh, medium regular basis okay this is the agitation or styling of the medium at the regular basis styling of the culture is achieved by the magnet encased in a glass pendulum or a large surface area pedal 
and the speed may be approximately 30 to 100 rpm not a la high speed they are in the uh, low small uh, slow speed so this is the um, basis of the scale up in the stride means we are uh, agitating the size at the regular basis the next one is uh, static suspension static suspension in the suspension culture is that some cells do not need any kind of agitation so they are not agitated they do not require any kind of uh, agitating pedal and some instruments okay so the cells are fixed in their positions in the static suspension culture so which factors can be used for the scallop scaling uh, the first is the physical parameters such as the configuration of the bioreactor the bioreactor is large small okay what are the extra uh, parts of the um, bioreactor such as any configuration such as any uh, pedal for the movement of the for the styling of the cells the next is the supply of the power more the um, more the larger and more the power will be required to any kind of bioreactor and the next is styling the medium styling is there any styling or is there not any styling on the basis of the type of the cells it will be depend okay these parameters will determine the next parameter is the chemical parameters uh, the chemical parameters in which the first important parameter is the medium and the nutrients which we are providing to the cells if we are not providing enough medium and the suitable medium to the cells the cells will not grow properly they will not divide at the uh, regular basis okay so for that uh, constant uh, cell division we need a appropriate uh, culture media and the required nutrients at regular basis the next is uh, oxygen supply will be good and pH and buffer system must be there because some cells really need a particular uh, uh, pH and will not able to grow the pH larger or the uh, below pH which are the suitable for there. So buffers fulfill their need for the pH requirement and similarly some waste products can cause some toxic effects because if some cells are not viable they will cause some toxic effects cytotoxic effects which are not essential for the cells so these waste cells and the waste particles waste products can should be removed from the uh, culture media in the uh, reactor so these all are the uh, basic the need and the basic parameters for the scale up process we, and now we discuss about the cultures uh, star culture is the culture in which we uh, at the regular basis we style our cells by these pedals with these magnetic pendulum so these at the regular time will move the uh, cells by the use of these magnetic styler uh, and the continuous flow culture is also there in which at the regular basis we inoculate the culture media as well as the cells and at the same time we take out some part of the media and some part of the uh, products okay so these are the continuous flow culture in which uh, the continu continuous flow of the uh, culture media as well as the oxygen supply as well as some filtration methods are applied so that the um, um, the culture will move at the regular basis and no waste uh, particles no waste products will be uh, deposited okay 
so there are some also some air lift uh, fermenters which uh, which are used for the supply of the air to the cells and the removal of uh, carbon dioxide so that the carbon dioxide cannot be deposited nasa bioreactors are also added to the bioreactors which are specially designed by the nasa okay some other systems are also can uh, use such a rotating chambers for fuse suspension cultures okay now we discuss about the scale up in the mono layer we discuss about the scale up in the uh, suspension and now we discuss about the scale up in the mono layer what is the mono layer in the uh, last uh, videos we discuss about the encourage dependent cells so mono layer scale up is conducted for the cells which are encourage dependent means these cells need some specific supports so that on those supports they can grow and they can divide okay so in mono layer the cells will be grown on a particular kind of suitable surface okay so what are the advantages of the mono layer uh, the first one is change of media and washing of cells is easy it is easy to perfuse immobilized cells because uh, suspension culture was not for the immobilized cells it is specific for the immobilized cells the cells product formation is higher in the mono layer and the same set of apparatus can be repeatedly used what are the disadvantages it is uh, complex and the costly they require more space more space and less productive the growth of cells cannot be monitored effectively and it is difficult to measure the control of the parameters such as oxygen ph carbon dioxide okay so these are the disadvantages and uh, these are the fermenters or reactors which are used for the uh, mono layer uh, it is the roller bottle uh, culture roller a round bottle or tube is rolled around its axis as a medium along with the cells runs around inside the bottle okay and the cells are added to and they touch the inner surface of the bottle and forming the mono layer the medium is gently and constantly agitated the surface area is highly uh, high for the cell growth and the collection of supernatural medium is very easy so these are the advantages and some limitations are also there it is only for the monitoring of the uh, only for the mo uh, mono layer culture and not for the suspension cells and uh, in this uh, monitoring of cells is very difficult and investment is high the next one is the multi surface uh, in this there are different surfaces are there on these surfaces we can use all these surfaces at the same time so that more productive more products can be isolated and at the same times more cultures can be performed some multi array disk spiral tubes micro carrier culture can also be used okay so these have contain the plastic glass gelatin collagen cellulose da dextrone so these are the compositions of these uh, uh, these cultures okay so now we discuss about the uh, monitoring of cell growth in the scale up first one is monitoring of cells in the suspension culture the first is monitoring in the 
suspension culture the progress in the suspension can be monitored in in situ by measuring the amount of the oxygen carbon dioxide ph and some metabolites similarly uh, we can analyze the amount of dna protein and atp which are produced in the process which will which will determine the presence of the viable cells okay so by analysis of these parameters we can analyze the we can monitor the suspension culture now the monitoring of the monolayer culture uh, in the monitoring of the monolayer it is very difficult as we have already discussed that uh, skin we do not able to uh, measure the amount of the uh, oxygen carbon dioxide proteins nucleic acids because they are they are encoder dependent so we cannot uh, determine the quantity but nmr is a method which can be used currently in the last few years for the monitoring of the monolayer culture but it is very costly that is very disadvantage of this uh, method that monitoring is very hard and not uh, possible in some cases and uh, if possible then it is very costly so these all are about the scale process so our lecture is over here thank you very much